What up YouTube? So today is going to be part 8 on how to build a budget case series and today we're going to be installing our timing chain and doing timing today so you guys can uh, see how to do that. But first thing we're going to do is just go over everything we've done so far. If you haven't watched the series, start off at part 1 so you can see exactly what we're doing. But anyways, this is a budget case series. So this is an 2006 Honda Accord engine K24 A8 very similar to the A4 pistons of the previous year and the point of this video of a budget build is to make some power and actually prove that the VTEC head can work on the Accord block without uh, hitting piston the valve so that's what we're pretty much getting down to on this engine is actually proving that it actually does work and that it's usable some people have these blocks just laying around if you're a mechanic like me because you do swaps and everything so i happen to come across this block and so far we have type s oil pump kit which i showed on i think part four how to install and then we have our rbb head which comes off of a 2006 2008 uh, our, our TSX and then we have uh, Jack Spagna head studs and then the cams are out of a 0506 RSX type S Z1 which is actually type R and has the 50 degree so and realistically this is a K24 K20 but I'm not gonna say K24 K20 because the head came from a K24 so same mechanism but and not the same head so I'm just calling this my K24 build period so we also have some parts that we also had got just sitting around we got an alternator water pump flywheel uh, idler pulley and our tensioner pulley as well and we've also upgraded from 280 cc injectors to 310s and uh, we upgraded instead of the K20 C3s we're gonna go with the Z1 Type R cams. So that's pretty much what we have so far. And we're also going with the Z1 crank pulley. So today, now that we got everything caught up, we're gonna go ahead and take these caps back off. And I'm gonna put some uh, Lucas fuel assembly. I mean, fuel assembly, lube assembly. So it'll uh, help with the dry start because uh, you don't want metal shavings as soon as this thing is spinning when you're first trying to crank it up so pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the cams back out real fast so we can uh, get everything lubed up so we don't have any issues when we start this thing up especially on the first try which should most likely happen Alright, so definitely want to get into the cam caps area. VTEC, of course, the lobes. Like I said, all this will help benefit and, and adjusting uh, the valve lashes and everything. Now there's other stuff you can use. I just like Lucas because it's really good and real sticky and gets in everywhere. And uh, you don't have to worry about dry start with this stuff because it's really, really gets inside of the metal and everything. Alright, so that all run down. I'm going to get these caps now. Just doing a little bit on the adjusters. I 
All right, so now we can put our cams back in. And our caps. Or actually, wait, before we put our caps on, let me go ahead and get the top going. These are going to get spun around anyway, so I'm just putting a slight on the top. So once we start spinning it, it'll all catch through the roller rocker assembly and everything. So, all right, so start with the cam caps back on. Oh, wait. Alright, so everything's back up, lubed up. I'm going to go ahead and get my tools and then we'll come back, start tightening these down and a pattern and then we'll get to our timing belt as well. So, it's actually the opposite. We're going to get to the chain first and then we'll tighten down everything on the valve train. So, I'm going to get the chain and get everything ready and then we'll come back. Alright, so we're back now and we got our timing chain kit. So, first thing we're going to do is uh let's get the top one replaced real fast since that's the easiest so we're gonna do the top tensioner or top guy first since that's the easiest Actually, pick this up a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so we got our top tension there. Let's put on our swinging tension air guide, I guess. Like And whatever you do, don't take the pin out yet. That's not going to be taken out until we actually put the chain on. So, right now, I'm going to show you guys the chain. So the chain has some markings on it. So you got two right here, two right here, and then one right here. So this one's going to go to the bottom of the crank, and which will be, this has to go top dead center. So we need to spin the crank to top dead center. And then the mark is actually, let me show you guys, right here. So the link is going to go between that mark. And then when we do our top dead center, the other link is going to go between, so you can see it, that mark right there. And then uh, 
what this top dead center on this cam it should be between I believe I can actually see it on here oh here it is someone marked it all right so between this one so each teeth is gonna go between it and uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and start tightening down the camshafts real fast so we can actually there's a hole right here so when we tighten it down we'll be able to put a little allen in there and that'll give us perfect timing so let's go ahead and start getting these semi tight I'm not gonna torque it down just tight enough to where the cam will actually be in contact with the actual uh, roller rock recently so start from the beginning and the center first completely torqued down. Still have to do a torquing, but just getting it down for the can to be All right, so now you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let me get actually rotate these cams. Let me go ahead and get my tools. I'm gonna get the Allens and tools so we can lock these things up and then we'll come back. All right, so we're back now and I got the chain on so I can show you guys how I have it lined up. So as you can see, the dot is between the two of them on this one, between the two of them on this one, and then on here, the dot is on in between the actual link and our timing is set on point lined up and then I wanted to show you guys the allen wrenches so they basically just keep the cam in line they have the little dowels in there that just basically kind of lock it up Honda actually makes a tool but I just use some allens they work just as good also took off the zip ties because those pretty much aren't needed anymore we they serve their purpose other than that, we can start putting on the rest of the guide and then uh, we can release the tension. So let me do that real quick. It's just three tens. So all our guides are on and tightened down. As you can see, so now we can release the tension. And uh, 
what we're gonna do is put some tension on it now so let's see if this will work so I just kind of put it right here between that and then as you can see it starts letting it out so you Oh, well, it's just Allen wrench, so that's on there pretty good. You just want to get as much as tension as you want on there because you don't want any slack. Because these motors do do a lot of cam phasing, especially with the 50 degree VDC. So that's pretty much it. After that, it should be ready to spin and it shouldn't have any problems. Oh, wait, let me take the Allen out. All right, so everything's pretty much good. So we have a fully spinning valve train. Um, I actually torqued it down before I was uh, got the camera back on, but yeah, everything's torqued down and uh, ready to go. So that's pretty much how you do timing. Next video, we're gonna be adjusting valves because I'm gonna actually get the tool this time, and uh, we're gonna go through all the valves and uh, start putting on the cover. So we got our side cover, our oil pan, and our valve cover. And uh, we'll get that all on here, and then we'll probably be doing water pump housing, intake manifold, etc. And then uh, that'll pretty be much it for this series. And then we'll go back to the sleeper sedan build, where we'll be building, well, actually putting this built motor or K24 motor into that, and seeing how it works out. So. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you haven't, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, catch you guys on the next video.